Good afternoon, I'm Jody Gill and this is your afternoon news fix for Tuesday the 9th of July. An advocacy group says government changes to the clean car scheme will drastically impact the EV sector. Pollution targets for imported vehicles have now been reduced to align with Australia. The Transport Minister says advice shows current standards would lift the price of a new vehicle in 2027 by more than $5,000. Drive Electric Chair Kirsten Corson says independent research shows reducing targets will massively cut projected clean car numbers. If the clean car standard was going to be weakened, that is going to be 350,000 less EVs on the road come 2030. Chris Luxon arrives in Washington, D.C. today, but it's unclear whether he'll secure a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden. The Prime Minister is attending the NATO summit and will also have talks with top U.S. politicians and is planning a sit-down with Canada's Prime Minister. Political editor Jason Wall says Luxon's unlikely to get the same with Biden, who has an election to focus on. But he says Luxon could get a pull aside where they see each other on the sidelines of the summit and just literally pull each other aside and have a quick chat. But it's basically just sort of a, hey, how's you doing, how's your father, sort of meet and greet. It doesn't really achieve anything. Meanwhile, the White House is facing more questions over Joe Biden's health. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre is refusing to confirm why a Parkinson's expert visited the White House eight times in eight months or whether the expert met with the president's doctor. Hold on a that second. Much you should be able to answer by this point. Wait, no, 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 no. No, wait a minute. Come, Ed, please. A little respect here, please. Jean Pierre says medical appointments for the White House's hundreds of staff are confidential. To clear this all up just by saying what he was doing here and if it was connected to the president, yes or no? I, I am not going to. The government wants to make remote new home build inspections the default to make construction quicker and easier. Here's senior political reporter Sophie Trigger. Construction Minister Chris Pank says stats show it takes an average of 569 days to build a house and costs have increased 41% since 2019. He says in-person inspections, currently the norm, can mean long delays as builders wait for an available appointment and work must stop in the meantime. Pink says remote inspections will lower costs, reduce transport emissions and ensure better record keeping. In sport, the Highlanders have gone back to the future in reappointing Jamie Joseph as head coach in Super Rugby. Joseph returns to the helm after being the head of rugby this year, with incumbent Clark Dermody staying on as assistant coach. Maya Ramston will represent New Zealand in the 1500 metres at the Paris Olympics. The national record holder and Harvard NCAA champion completes the 17-strong athletic squad. All white, Marco Rojas has signed with the Phoenix for the A-League football season. I'm Jodie Gill, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.